in Jesus in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus good evening Holy Spirit good evening power of God good evening presence of God good evening grace of God good evening presence of God we worship you Holy Spirit we magnify your name Holy Spirit. I welcome in this place today Holy Spirit of Pentecost we are useless without you we invite you right here right now come and reign Holy Ghost come and have your way in our lives Holy act for you we thank you for this week this week into your hands of god we dedicate this week into your hands of god somebody begin to welcome holy spirit this online prayer broadcast is yours take over 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 holy spirit come and do what the god of your kind does the god that answered by the god that heals the god that the god that sets the captives free we run to you today holy ghost we thank you for the day we thank you for the night we thank you for the morning we thank you for the afternoon somebody begin to welcome the holy ghost welcome the holy ghost welcome the holy ghost Jaramako Satara Brodosh. Come on, begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Our God be his name. We have come in the presence of the Holy Spirit. We dedicate to your hands, Holy Ghost. We dedicate ourselves, our families, and prayer watch broadcast. We dedicate it into you, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. You said if your name be lifted up, you will draw, you will draw all men unto yourself. We lift you here. We lift you right now. We lift your name, O oh Lord, above all other names. We lift your name, O oh Lord, above all other names. Come on, somebody. Begin to worship God. Begin to magnify God. Ram, rom, ram. Come on, we worship you. Our God is a mighty God. Our God is a powerful God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is a great God. He is our week of generating power. He is our week to generate power. Power over the enemy. Power over the works of the devil. Somebody where you are, begin to worship. Begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Welcome him. Holy Ghost, you are welcome. Press the share button as you are welcoming the Holy Ghost begin to evangelize welcome your friends in the name of jesus call somebody welcome the holy ghost as you we are here to worship the lord we are here to glorify the lord we didn't come to admire anybody we didn't come to see a man we came holy spirit we came to seek you to call on you we came to wait on you presence of God we came to glorify your name Rambro come on 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 our God reigns blessed be the name of the Lord our God reigns blessed be the name of the Lord our God reigns blessed be the name of the Lord Rambro Sotoroko Sotoro Brodosha Mako Satarabako Tolo Brodosha Mambroko Sotolo Broko Dosh, Jerembrege Debro Dobro Sotolo Brodosha. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. God bless you, Ros Mula. You are welcome, Ros Mula. Is a weak like no other. Is a weak like no other. Ros Mula, the Holy Ghost is about to handle a need in your life, a need in your health, a need in your family. Whatever you are believing God for this week, as we are waiting upon God. 
past him. We are drawing closer to God. We are seeking the face of God. And Rose Muller, the Spirit of God says to you, the wait is over. The wait is over. The wait is over. I don't know what you have been waiting for, but hear me and hear the Spirit of God says to you right now that the wait is over. The wait is over. Raka satalaba kada da brodosha. Come on, begin to wait upon God. Begin to call upon God. Press that share button. Tag your sister. Tag your brodosha. Mandala brodosata. Mandolo brokodo do brosakata. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wait is over. In the mighty name of Jesus, we don't serve a deaf God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a great God. We serve an awesome God. Our God is a consuming fire. Our God answered by fire. Come on, somebody. Begin to talk to God right now. Begin to worship God. Wherever you are, you are, you are, you are watching from, begin to worship God. Tag your friends. Share, share, share. I told the people that the heartbeat of Jesus is evangelism. The heartbeat of Jesus is evangelism. Anytime you come online, begin to share. Hallelujah. When you share, you are pleasing God. Somebody is somewhere far contemplating suicide. As you are sharing, they are coming on board, courtesy of your sharing. And the Holy Ghost is going to visit you like never before. Hallelujah. Begin to evangelize. You may not be able to preach, but you can evangelize by sharing, by welcoming your friends. As you talk, as you talk to God, as you commune with the Holy Ghost, as you wait upon God, press that share button and invite your friend. Is the first day of this week. We are coming to generate power. We are coming to call upon the Holy Ghost. I told the people yesterday that what you need is the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes upon your life, everything you need is going to line up. Everything you desire will come your way. Somebody begin to pray right now. Begin to welcome your friend. Tag your friends. I'm, I'm looking for somebody here who can tag 10 groups. Who can share to 10 groups or 20 groups in the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to press that share button. Tag your sister as you are praying right now. The Holy Ghost is putting a name of somebody in your heart. Bring them over. Bring them over. Bring them over. Marco Satalamando Lobro Soto Lobro Kododobrodosha. Jende Leke Telele there is power in the blood of jesus there is power in the blood of jesus we worship you lord come on begin to pray welcome the holy ghost is a night like no other is a night like no other is a night like no other tonight you will be delivered tonight there will be a visitation in your life tonight the holy spirit has got something in store for you if you can hear me say i can hear you in the mighty name of jesus if you can hear me say i can hear you press that share button i'm telling you press that share button Tag your sister, tag your friend, begin to evangelize, begin to call in. Tonight, I'm not going to keep you longer. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep you longer than expected. Open your mouth in just four minutes. Begin to tag your sister. Begin to share everywhere. If starting a watch party will bring people, go ahead and do it in Jesus' my name. But share widely, share widely, share widely. And tell them welcome. It is a time like no other. It is a season like no other. Holy Spirit, the living God, take over the broadcaster. Take over the broadcaster. Take over the broadcaster. We declare a Ezekiel 36 verse 25 you said in your word you'll sprinkle clean waters on your people and you'll remove the stony hearts and you put the heart of flesh tonight oh lord sprinkle clean waters on somebody here remove the stony hearts and put in the heart of flesh the heart that believes, the heart that is expected in the mighty name of Jesus. Now begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. Begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Tell him, Holy Ghost, you're welcome. Don't ask him for money. Don't ask him for house. Don't ask him for job. Don't ask him for spouse. Don't ask him for children. Come him and tell him, Holy Ghost, I welcome you in. I yield myself, my one presence this week. I yield my needs into your presence this week. Holy Spirit, take over. 
take over take i'm telling you he is taking over holy spirit take over this broadcaster take over online prayer was service 10 p.m take over take over east african time take over holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus take over holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and begin to welcome the holy ghost to take over to take over to take over one more time as the song is playing begin to welcome the holy ghost to take over with your mouth you're welcoming the holy ghost with your hands you are sharing you are sharing to everybody let's lift up the numbers let's lift up the numbers begin to tag in your friend begin to tag in your sister begin to tag in your brother begin tagging everybody press that share button young lady press that share button young man press that share button daddy press that share button mommy somebody needs to be here i'm telling you this week i have a feeling you will go to the next level this week i have a feeling there will be a supernatural transformation in your life this week i have a feeling that the demons that have been harassing you they're about to salute you and watch you go to the next level somebody write down and say this is my week write down there is my week this is my week mako satala mako talala mandolo bo satala brodosha begin to welcome the holy ghost in the name of jesus begin to welcome the holy ghost the Holy Ghost a hundred times. Begin to call upon the Holy Ghost a hundred times. Don't stop calling him. Tell him Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit in my wife. Holy Spirit in my children. Holy Spirit in my family. Holy Spirit in my business. Holy Spirit in on Monday. Holy Spirit on Tuesday. Holy Spirit on Wednesday. Holy Spirit on Thursday. Holy Spirit on Friday. Holy Spirit on Saturday. Holy Spirit on Sunday. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit in the morning, Holy Ghost, in the afternoon, Holy Ghost, in the evening, Holy Ghost, on this online prayer broadcast, Holy Spirit, on every bro on, on every sharing taking place, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody like the video, share the video, like the video, share the video. As you are sharing the video, write down there and say, Holy Spirit, as I share the video, as I evangelize, as I share the video to bring more people on remember me this week remember me this week write down there and say holy ghost as i share the video as i press the share button and as i invite people to come remember me holy spirit remember my job remember my family remember my business remember me holy ghost mako satala mako talala bandolo bosakata mako soto leke tele Check if your sister is here. Check if your brother is here. If you can't see them, tag them and welcome them in the name of Jesus. Tag them and welcome them in the name of Jesus. Come on, be your brother's keeper. Be your sister keeper in the name of Jesus. You see, Esau, I'm telling you, Cain, 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 Cain. Cain gave God a bad reply. When God asked him, where is thy brother? Where is thy brother? Cain answered said am i my brother's keeper that was rude child of god i know you have come online but you somebody is suffering they don't know what to do they are going in circles but as they come online right now as you tag them as you welcome them as they are coming on they're gonna get a rema word they're gonna be touched by the holy ghost and guess what heavens will be proud of you and when the heavens are proud of you your breakthrough is released in the name of jesus now begin to press that your baron god bless you eve myers god bless you miracle sarah god bless you Rose Mula in the name of Jesus. Come on, like the video, like the video, share the video. We have a few minutes to do this before we get to the word. Let's raise the numbers. Let's raise the numbers. Let's raise the numbers. Let's raise the numbers in the name of Jesus. You see, it pleases it pleases heaven when you are blessed and at the same time not only you are blessed but also your friends are blessed anytime you tag your friend and you invite them and you press the share button and you start to begin
begin to share widely. It pleases the heaven. I told the people the other day, there is somebody in Fiji that is contemplating suicide. You sharing the video will get them here to be delivered in the name of of Jesus. I'll never forget some time ago, a person in Fiji, my God of my, I'll not mention the name, was about to commit suicide. The daddy died and the sibling gathered, gathered themselves and they took all the inheritance and they left him zero and, she, and this man and he was about to kill himself. He said, no, I, will, I cannot take it anymore. And then it was at that time that somebody shared the broadcast and the person got to have it and watch it. Right now that person it's not, it's, it's, it's not six feet under. The person is a believer. The person was born again. The person called upon Jesus. Child of God, when you share the video, you are delivering people. Hallelujah. Glory. It is like you're preaching. Child of God, just sharing the video is like you're preaching. You are winning souls, and that is what pleases the Holy Spirit. So we have two minutes. Let's raise those numbers. Let's share widely in the name of Jesus. Share, share, share. Find out if your sister is here. If they're not here, tag them. Welcome them in the mighty name of Jesus. Tag them. Welcome them. Find out. Find out. If your brother is here, if they're not here, begin to tag them. Begin to tell them, hey, hey. We have begun, we are on. Today we began on time. Hallelujah, glory. Begin to write to them and say, hey, 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 hey. We are already on. Join. Join in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God. Begin to welcome the Holy Talk to God. Call upon the Holy Ghost a hundred times. Call upon the Holy Ghost a hundred times. Call upon the Holy Ghost a hundred times. God bless you, Miracle Sarah, for sharing. Come on, let's keep on sharing. Let's keep on sharing. Let's keep on sharing. Share the video. Love the video. Share the video. Love the video in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're going to pray for two minutes. As you're praying, you'll be praying and you're tagging your friends in Jesus' name. Somebody begin to tag your friends. Begin to welcome them right here right now tonight is a night like no other we are attacking the weak we are attacking the weak we are not allowing the devil to attack us in this week we are taking the battle to the gates of the enemy and we are telling the devil to give us back what is stole from our lives and we are not stopping there we are telling him give us back what is stole from our spouses what is stole from our loved ones what is stole from our parents in the the mighty name of Jesus is our week of generating power. That's why I told you the other day that this whole week from Monday to Sunday, we are going to be fasting and praying 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the name of of Jesus. Now, if you fasted today, write down there, say, Pastor, I was on. I was on. I fasted today. Let me know who, how many we have in the name of Jesus. Begin to call upon God. I feel the grace. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. Come on, begin to raise those numbers. Press the share button. Don't stop sharing. Don't stop sharing with your mouth. You are calling upon the Holy Spirit a hundred times. With your hands, you are writing and you are tagging your friends and you are welcoming them. Right Right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Reka Sata Laba Dobro Setele Debro Dobo Soto Lobro Kodo Dobo Sata. Holy Spirit, 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 Holy Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit of Pentecost, Holy Spirit, come and move, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, we need you right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we need you, Holy Spirit move in our midst. Come and fill us with the Holy Ghost. Come and fill us with the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. We are tired of the enemy. We are tired of witches and wizards. We are tired of confusion. We are tired of devils. We are welcoming the Holy Ghost by the power of the Lord. Our God reigns. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Child of God, Jesus is the Redeemer. I'm telling you, Jesus is the Redeemer. All the other men they attempted to redeem, but they never redeemed. It was 
Jesus did not attempt to redeem. Jesus redeemed us. Jesus redeemed us. Jesus redeemed us. You see, Moses attempted to redeem the children of Israel, but he was not able to fulfill it. My God of Mary, he was not able to fulfill it because only two people reached the promised land. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he did not attempt to redeem. He redeemed. He redeemed. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, chapter 13, chapter 3, that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be a man that hanging himself on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. Tonight, somebody that curse is being rolled away out of your life. I have two minutes. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you are sharing, go to the go to the book of John. Go to the book of John, chapter number two. John, chapter number two. I have a feeling that this week is going to be powerful. It's going to be off the hook, off the chains, off the rims. The Holy Spirit it is going to brood on us. Open your mouth and say, Holy Ghost, brood on me. Write down there and say, Holy Spirit, brood on me this week. As the hen broods on the egg, Holy Spirit, brood on me. Brood on my family. Brood on my business. Brood on my health. Come on, begin to pray that prayer and say, Holy Spirit, brood on me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I don't want no curse brooding on me. I don't want no demon brooding on me. I want the Holy Ghost to brood on me. Holy Ghost, brood on us this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, brood on us this week, Holy Spirit. Brood on us this week, Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Ghost. We need you in our lives. We need you in our families. Somebody in the next one minute, open your mouth and tell the Holy Ghost, brood on me, brood on me, brood on me, brood on me. On me, I feel a prayer rising. I feel a prayer rising. Jaraba sote rebro soto robro dobro sata. Holy Spirit, brood on us this week. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, King of Glory. We need you, El Shaddai. We need you, Elohim. Somebody begin to call the Holy Ghost and tell him, brood on me, Holy Spirit. Brood on my business. Brood on my marriage. Brood on this online prayer watch broadcast. Brood and deliver, brood and set the captives free, brood and cast devils, um, brood, holy ghost, um, brood, 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 uh, somebody tell him, brood on me this week, I need to hear you this week, I need to see you this week, brood on my life this week, brood on my mind this week, in the mighty name of Jesus, I surrender my life at the feet of Jesus, brood on somebody here, till that sickness departs, I pray may the Holy Ghost brood on you my sister, the devil is a liar, may the Holy Ghost brood on your business, the devil is a liar, may the Holy Ghost brood on your finances, Open your mouth and welcome the Holy Ghost and say, Holy Spirit, I am no longer in control. Come and brood on my life. Come and brood on my life. The Bible says in the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and void, and darkness was upon the face of the waters, and the Holy Ghost was hovering over the face of the earth. The Holy Ghost was brooding, and the Bible said, God said, let there be light. Somebody open your mouth right now and say, Holy Spirit, sit on me this week, brood on me this week, brood on me this week. Brood on me this week. Don't ask him for anything. Don't ask him for money. Don't ask him for healing. Don't ask him for deliverance. Don't ask him for miracles. Just welcome the Holy Ghost and tell him, Holy Spirit, brood on me this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, write down there and say, Holy Ghost, brood on me this week. Brood on this online prayer watch service. Holy Spirit of the living God, we know you you are needed in, needed in Asia. We know you are needed in South
We know you are needed everywhere, but we need you to uh, come and move in our midst. Uh, come and abide in us. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, somebody begin to pray uh, in the name that's the bar for other names. Uh, welcome Elizabeth Pirica. Open your mouth and begin to call upon God uh, and tell him, Holy Ghost, uh, I need you this week. Uh, I need you in my life. Uh, I need you in my children. Uh, I need you in my spouse. Uh, as you're praying, press the share button. Uh, begin to tell Again, your sister, find out if they are here. If they're not here, begin to call them up, begin to tag them in. Somebody here needs to share to over 20 groups in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's raise those numbers. I feel a prayer rising. I feel a prayer rising. I feel a prayer rising. Open your mouth. Child of God, when you come in here, begin to enter into prayer. Begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. You may not know how to pray, but just say, Holy Spirit, call the Holy Ghost a hundred times. Call the Holy Ghost a hundred times and tell him, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of Acts, Holy Spirit of Pentecost, Holy Spirit of the Living God, have your way right here, right now now this day, have your way, Holy Ghost. Uh, begin to welcome the Holy Spirit, child of God. Uh, Holy Ghost, my sister, don't be silent. Uh, don't stop welcoming the Holy Ghost. Uh, as you welcome the Holy Ghost, begin to share. Press the share button. Uh, there are things the Holy Ghost loves. Uh, we, the Holy Ghost loves evangelism. Uh, anytime you evangelize, uh, anytime you evangelize, uh, you bring somebody to the Lord. Uh, I'm telling you, you please the Holy Ghost. Share. You can press that share button and welcome somebody right now in the name that's above all other names. Somebody is watching Discouragement TV and the Discouragement TV has discouraged them and they don't know what to do and the next thing they have is a gun in their hand their brains off but when you welcome when you tag them when you share them when you when you send them when you share them then they're able to come in and the word of god is gonna touch them in jesus mighty name open your mouth and begin to call upon the holy ghost right down there and say holy ghost abide in me today abide in me this week i wanna hear you holy spirit i wanna see you and touch you i wanna feel you holy ghost abide in my life. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 91 that he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my strength, my fortress. In him, in him will I, will, will I remain. Somebody begin to press the share button. Share the video. Love the video. Welcome the Holy Ghost. I need somebody here who can share to over 10 groups of over 10 groups, over 10 groups in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to share, begin to share. Tonight, I'm not going to keep you longer. We have come to prepare you for the week. We have come to welcome the Holy Ghost to take over this week. This week, you're going to have some dangerous testimonies. I'm telling you, some of you thought that you have seen the hand of God. You have not seen nothing yet. The Holy Ghost is now beginning to move in your heart, in your thoughts, in your spirit uh, in the minds of people and the holy ghost is affecting change everywhere in the mighty name of jesus john chapter 2 john chapter 2 the Bible says in John chapter 2 and the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage and when they wanted wine the mother of Jesus said unto them they have run out of wine they have got no wine Jesus said unto her woman what have I to do with thee mine hour is not yet come his mother said unto the servants whatsoever Whatsoever he saith unto you, do whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there was set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three fuckings apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they fill them up to the brim, and they fill them up to the brim, and they fill them up to the brim, and he said unto them, Draw out.
and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bow unto him. Hallelujah. Glory. They bow unto him when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was. But the servants which drew the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and said unto him, Every man at the beginning that set good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now, until now. Raka satalama kosata labado sakata. Yesterday we talked about that you need to be filled by the Holy Spirit. And I told you in the Bible that the greatest, the worst statement that has ever been made was made by Mary, the mother of Jesus, when she said that they have run out of wine. And I told you that wine is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't want anybody to get me out of context and begin saying that now we are allowed to drink wine. No, we are not talking about wine. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, let me tell you something. If the wine that Jesus, if the water that Jesus changed into wine was the one which was present now, I would have drunk it. But the wine we are talking with the wine we are talking about is the wine wine of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory. The wine you think you have been drinking is the demonic wine. Hallelujah. Glory. This is not the wine I'm talking about. I'm talking about the wine which is the Holy Ghost here. Hallelujah. Wine in the Bible represents the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory. Now the mother of Jesus and Jesus have been invited for into a wedding. But child of God, there is something missing that is very important and it's called wine. And I told the people the other day that you need to be filled by the Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit battery needs to need to be a hundred percent. Need to be a hundred percent. I'm telling you the reason why the devil has been has been as God bless you, Eva Spencer, for sharing the video. God bless you, Eva Spencer somebody begin to share this video share this video hallelujah let's raise those numbers let's raise those numbers let's raise those numbers share the video tagging your friends anytime you are coming on anytime you are coming on the broadcast go to work go to work with your ears you are hearing the gospel with your mouth you are praying with your hands you are sharing you are inviting people as you are inviting people you are pleasing the Holy Ghost and your life will never be the same again so Mary, the mother of Jesus, detects. God bless you, Rose Amachi. Welcome, Rose Amachi. Share the video in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the mother of Jesus detects that there is something missing, and that is wine. That is wine. And I say that wine represents the Holy Spirit in the Bible. I'm not talking about the wine you buy from the shop. Hallelujah. Glory. The alcoholic one. Hallelujah. I'm talking about this one in the Bible. It represents the Holy Ghost. For the Bible said, do not be drunk of wine. Hallelujah. Do not be drunk of wine but, or, or alcohol, but instead be filled by the Holy Spirit. Spirit, be filled by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory. Somebody say, I will be filled by the Holy Spirit. So Mary, the mother of Jesus, wakes up and goes and began to be found, finds out that they have got no wine. And Mary tells Jesus, they have run out of wine. They have run out of the Holy Spirit. Somebody this week, you have come to recharge your battery of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, glory. Your battery of the Holy Spirit was zero percent. That is what the devil was running you around chicken hallelujah but this week you are turning the tables on the enemy because your holy ghost battery is becoming a hundred percent hallelujah so mary tells jesus they have run out of wine and jesus replies mary rudely by telling me that woman, what have that? What have I got to do with this one? My time has not come. Hallelujah! But because Mary is filled by the Holy Spirit, she doesn't argue with Jesus. She goes and tells the servants that whatsoever He tells you, just do it. Whatsoever He tells you, just do it. I want to tell somebody here: whatsoever the Holy Spirit tells you, just do it. Some of you, the Holy Spirit is telling you right now to share the video to over twenty groups or to over 30 groups and you are just sitting there you are saying no let me listen by myself where whatever the 
just do it uh, because as you obey to do it uh, you are unlocking your breakthrough you are unlocking your miracle you are unlocking your visitation uh, Mary tells them uh, whatsoever he tells you just do it uh, and the Bible says my God as I'm finished because of time keep on sharing them uh, the Bible says Jesus um, tells the servants hallelujah draw out now the Jesus tell them hallelujah Jesus said unto them fill the water pots with water and they fill them up to the brim hallelujah Jesus tells the servants fill the water pots with water and they fill them up to the brim God bless you June you're welcome God bless you Naomi you're welcome hallelujah you're doing a good job keep on sharing let's lift the numbers let's lift the numbers child of God the Jesus tells the servants fill the water pot with the water now let me tell you something if you're believing god for wine and somebody tells you to fill the water pots with the water you are gonna be like huh we need wine here we don't need water hallelujah it is crazy we need wine and you're telling us to fill the water pots with the water hallelujah choose to obey is the instruction that releases your deliverance hallelujah glory most of you your deliverance has passed you you have visited you because you are still figuring out oh is it the right thing to do is it the right thing to pray at 10 p.m i'm gonna pray tomorrow i'm gonna pray when i want is it the right thing to fast i fasted last week i don't know i don't have to i don't have to fast this week you have missed instruction and the instruction that you obey good evening june good evening junior welcome the to obey is the instruction that releases your deliverance. Jesus tell these people, fill the water pots with water. My God Almighty, fill the water pots with water. And the Bible says that they fill the water pots to the brim. I declare to somebody this week, you are going to be filled by the Holy Ghost to the brim, to the brim, to the brim. Right down there, say, Holy Ghost, fill me to the brim. Fill me to the brim. I don't want you to fill me on my knees alone. I don't want you to fill me on my waist alone. I don't want you to fill me on my neck alone. I want to cover me up. Soak me in the Holy Ghost. Somebody write down there say, Holy Ghost, I want to swim in your presence this week. I want to swim in your presence this week. Baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Swim, soak me in the Holy Ghost. Fill me in the Holy Ghost. Some of you, your feet are filled but your heart is not filled some of your heart is filled but your mind is not filled some of your mind is filled but your pockets are not filled some of your pockets are filled but your, your, your thoughts are not filled but this week may the Holy Spirit baptize you in himself may the Holy Spirit soak you come on somebody right down there say Holy Ghost fill me to the brim when the Bible say when Jesus told the servants to draw the water and fill the water pots. They didn't, just, they didn't just fill it halfway. Child of God, I know last week you were filled to your knees. Oh my God Almighty. And maybe the other week you are filled up to your waist. But this week we have come that the Holy Ghost will cover us up. Will fill us to the bridge. Almighty. I don't want any space remaining. Hallelujah. There's any space remaining, hallelujah, glory, that is not filled by the Holy Ghost. Demons will fill it, my God Almighty. Ah, evil report will feel it. Unbelief will feel it. Doubt will feel it. Fear will feel it. Will feel it. But when the Holy Ghost fills you to the brim, that means there is no room. There is no room. There is no room, my God Almighty. I wish I could demonstrate to you, child of God. You see, when you feel a body, water with the water it is filled up it is filled up it means there is no space for any air or anything in it hallelujah it is literally filled up but when you leave a space hallelujah glory air begins to fill that particular space but this week we are not leaving any space we are asking the holy ghost to fill us to the overflow to fill us to the overflow right down there and say holy ghost 
Come on, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying. Holy Spirit, fill me to the over overflow. Fill me to the overflow. Open a mouth and say, Holy Ghost, fill us to the overflow. I don't want any space remaining. Fill me to the overflow. Write down that say, Holy Ghost, this week fill me to the overflow. Hallelujah, glory. Fill me to the overflow. And the Bible said, the servants filled, the servant filled the water pots with the water. Hallelujah your glory and he said unto them draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast and they bore it and they bore it and they bore it and when they the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was. But the servants which drew the water knew the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Glory. Fill us to the overflow. Fill us to the overflow. Somebody open a mouth and say, Holy Ghost, fill Say holy me to the overflow. I pray that this week the Holy Ghost will fill you to the overflow. Let me finish right here because of time. After the servants had drawn the water and filled the water pots to the overflow, then a miracle took place. My God Almighty, a miracle took place. Somebody this week, as you are being filled by the Holy Spirit, a miracle will take place in your life. I say, as you are being filled by the Holy Spirit, a miracle will take place in your life. You see, it was after this servant filled the water pot to the to the brim. That's when the miracle took place. It was after this servant filled the water pot to the brim. That is when the miracle took place. This week, as the Holy Ghost fills you to the brim, a miracle will take place in your life. My God Almighty, somebody write down and say, this week, as I'm drinking the Holy Ghost, as I'm being filled by the Holy Ghost, a miracle will take place in my life. A miracle will take place in my family. A miracle will take place in my home. A miracle will take place in this online plot broadcast. It was after the servants had obeyed the instructions and they filled the water pots with the water to the brim. I as you are being filled by the Holy Ghost this week in your marriage, in your health, in your business, in your family sending a miracle your way. The Bible says after they had filled the water pots with water to the brim, a miracle took place and the water turned into wine. I declare to somebody under the sound of my voice, your water is turning into wine. What do I mean? I'm saying an impossible miracle is about to happen to your life. You see, for a strong wine, for you to have a strong wine, for you to have a have to build it up for 20 years. It has to be prepared it for a strong wine. Takes close to 20 or 30 years to be to be a strong wine. It cannot be strong unless it has endured time. Hallelujah. After preparing it, you have to bottle it. Then you have to shelf it for many years. Then is when it becomes strong. I've come to tell somebody that which takes 20 years is about to take two weeks for you in Jesus. Oh my God oh Mary, Who am I talking to in this place? Who am I talking to in this place? My time is over. Somebody tagging your friends. Begin to share wildly, share wildly, share wildly, share wildly. Tag your friends. Press the share button and welcome them. My time is over. In the name of Jesus, it takes 20 years for a good wine to take place. For a good wine. Hallelujah. Glory. God bless you, Rose. You are welcome. It takes 20 years for a strong wine to be there. Hallelujah. Glory. But when the wine, when the servants obey the instructions and fill the water pots with water, the Bible say it didn't have to take 20 years. It took a day. That's what I believe, child of God. It doesn't matter what the devil has done to you. It doesn't matter how many years you have struggled. It doesn't matter how many years you have suffered. In the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is a supernatural, there is an immediate reversal. My God Almighty, in the presence of the Holy Ghost, in the presence of the Holy Ghost, things are speeding up. Things are speeding up. That which would have taken 20 years in your life, as you abide in the presence of the Holy Ghost, as you are being filled by the Holy Ghost, it's about to take three days. Who am I preaching to in this place? I told you that this week, we are praying and fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hallelujah. We are not asking for anything 
anointing. We are just welcoming the Holy Ghost. And I told you right now that that which that which is supposed to take 20 years, that which is supposed to take 50 years in the presence of the Holy Spirit is going to take two days. It's going to take one week. It's going to take two weeks. It's going to take five hours. It's going to take 12 hours in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I know you have a long list of prayer requests, but I'm not scared. What I just want to do, I'm saying if I can get you to be filled by the Holy Ghost this week, if I can get you to be filled by the Holy Ghost this week, that particular lineup of your prayer request is about to be zeroed in to a miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, all I want is to get you to be filled by the Holy Ghost. That's why we are fasting this week. You see, fasting prepares prepares you uh, to receive fasting prepares you uh, to receive the spiritual hallelujah the things of the spiritual you cannot receive them physically you have to tune in into a realm hallelujah you have to tune in into the spiritual realm uh, that's why fasting tunes you uh, into a spiritual realm uh, for you to be able to receive from the things of the spirit uh, that's why we are fasting from 6 a.m to 6 p.m uh, we are tuning our spirit Spirit, uh, we are connecting ourselves uh, to the Holy Ghost. Uh, when Jesus taught the Sabbath, as I finish, uh, that filled the water pots with water, the Bible says uh, they did not ask a question. Uh, they did not say, but Jesus, uh, we need wine. Why are we using water? And we need wine. When Jesus told them to fill the water pots with water, they did not ask a question. Uh, they did not say, oh, Jesus, uh, how is it going to happen? Uh, they simply obeyed. Uh, they heard what Mary, the mother of Jesus, told them. Uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus, told them, whatsoever he tells you, just do it. Just do it. And right now, the Holy Ghost is speaking to me right now. Just right now, the Holy Ghost is speaking through me to you. He's telling me that this week, as you tune in, as you tune your spirit through prayer and fasting, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., my God Almighty, that which you have been believing God for for many years, it is about to drop on your lap. My God Almighty, as you press the share button, as you call in your friends, as you tag in 20 groups, as you share, as you invite your friends, what are you doing? You are pleasing the Holy Ghost. And when you are pleasing the Holy Ghost, is commanding your breakthrough to run after you, to come to you. Let me finish because of time. The Bible says, God bless you, Edith, you're welcome. The Bible says, after they had filled the water pots, a miracle took place. After you are filled by the Holy Ghost this week, a miracle will take place a miracle will take place in your business. A miracle will take place in your health. A miracle will take place in your finances. Some of you are aggressive enough. You are drawing the Holy Ghost today. And I declare a miracle is not going to wait until Sunday. It is taking place today in Jesus' name. For those who are aggressive enough, drinking from the Holy Spirit, drawing from the Holy Ghost, telling him, feel me now. Feel me right now. I don't want to wait till Sunday. I don't want to wait till Friday. I profess to that person, uh, your miracle is happening in less than five hours from now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because when the Holy Spirit filled you, uh, when the water pots were filled with water, my God, it turned into wine. Uh, miraculously, it turned into wine. Uh, as you are getting filled by the Holy Ghost, uh, your miracle is about to be released uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and the Bible says in conclusion uh, that after they had filled the water pots uh, and it was wine, uh, Jesus told them, uh, now draw the wine uh, and take it to the governor. Hallelujah, glory. Draw the wine. Now listen to me very well. These were servants. Let me, let me slow down here. These were servants. These were servants that obeyed the instruction of Jesus. The governor, who is the master of ceremony, was not there. He was not there. These were servants that Jesus spoke to because Mary told the servants, whatsoever he tells you, just do it. And Jesus told the servants, fill the water pots with water. And the servants did not question. The servants obeyed. The governor was nowhere around. Hallelujah, glory. The governor was nowhere around. Child of God, it was the governor who was supposed to be getting to know first-hand information, details about the wine. 
but the governor's Holy Spirit battery was 0%. Hallelujah, glory. The governor's Holy Spirit battery was 0%, but the servant's Holy Spirit battery was 100%. That is why when Jesus told them, fill the water pots with water, they did not question, they just did it. Hallelujah. A good example is this. It is like an unbeliever is praying and you, a believer, is sleeping. A good example is this. It's like a Muslim is believing their God and you, a believer, is sleeping. A governor stands for a person who is supposed to be there on time. Hallelujah, glory. It is like a dog and a tail. Child of God, between a dog and a tail, which one, we, who wags the other? Between a dog and the tail, who wags the other? Is it the dog that wags the tail? Or is it the tail that wags the dog? Is it the dog that shakes the tail? Or is it the tail that shakes the dog? It is the dog who is supposed to be wagging the tail. Hallelujah. The governor is the one who is supposed to be getting a first-hand information about wine. Because he's the master of ceremony. But he's sleeping. Hallelujah. Glory. But the servants, my God Almighty, are awake in the spiritual realm. I know there are governors who are sleeping and the servants have tuned in on this online prayer watch broadcast. I came to declare to you servants of God, you are about to taste the wine before the governor. My God Almighty, somebody say I'm about to taste the wine before the governor tasted it in Jesus mighty name. When the servants drew the water and filled the water pots with water, the Bible said they discovered it turned into wine and they were the first one to taste it. They tasted it and they felt how sweet the wine was hallelujah glory i'm telling you it's amazing to test a miracle that jesus has done they tested the miracle first they tested the wine before any other person before any other person tested it i declare to somebody who has come on this online prayer broadcast i want to speak to servants as we come this week as we fast 6 a.m to 6 p.m we are about to be the first one to taste the wine my god almighty you are about to be the first one to build a house in your village that nobody has ever built you are about to be the first one my god almighty to own a property that nobody has ever owned you are about to be the first one who is going to sponsor a crusade in your village where witches have been harassing and destroying lives you are about to be the first one who is going to cast the devils out of your household who am i preaching to in this place right down there and say i will taste the wine the first one i'll be the first one to taste the wine in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This week we are not allowing the devil to test the wine before us. We are not allowing the witches to test the wine before us. As we come in the presence of the Holy Ghost, as we dine in the presence of the Holy Ghost, as we date the Holy Spirit, as we do what Jesus tells us to do, may it told the servants whatsoever he tells you, just do it. And the servants obey the instructions. And they filled the water pots with the water. And there came a miracle of wine. And they tested it faster. Initially, it was the it was the governor who is supposed to be testing it faster. But they said, no, 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 no. We are not going to pass our breakthrough to somebody else to test it. And tell that it is, if it is good, we are going to have a first-hand information about our breakthrough. I declare to somebody under the sound of my voice, you are about to be the first one to do it. Oh my God, oh my priest preaching to in this place. You're about to be the first one to do it. The first one to achieve it. The first one to make it. The first one to rise in business. The first one to succeed in that area. The first one to overcome those troubles. I know the trouble that you have gone through. If others went through it, they will have died. But you're about to be the first one to overcome that challenge in the name that's above all other names. You're about to God to spawn with the work of the Holy Ghost, my God Almighty, on a higher level that your daddy or your mom in the mighty name of Jesus, you're about to be the first one to silence the witches who have been destroying people's lives in your family. They tested the wine and they discovered it was beautiful and then is when they carried it to the governor. I'm telling you, God is turning tables. Governors have been number one 
and servants have been number last. But as servants are waiting on the Lord, as servants are drinking the Holy Ghost, as servants are recharging their battery of the Holy Ghost, they are about to topple the governors. Oh my God, oh my, they are about, oh my God, there's about to be a switch. You're about to overtake. Somebody you're about to overtake. I know the others who got married ahead of you. I know the others who Google degrees ahead of you. I know the others who became millionaires ahead of you. I know the others who owned properties ahead of you. But as you sit at the feet of the Holy Ghost this week, as you drink the Holy Ghost, as you share, as you share, as you tag your brother, as you now with the work of the Holy Ghost through giving, you are about to overtake in Jesus' name. Let me finish because of time. The Bible says, when the governor tasted the wine, and this is where the problem is, then I pray. The governor tasted the wine. The governor said something that the devil wishes to happen to you. The governor said, oh my God, this wine is very delicious. You guys, you have kept the wine until now. The governor told them many times, whenever there's a function, you bring out the best wine before. And then after people have drunk the best wine, and they are now not knowing who they are, they cannot be able to understand, to, 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 they are already drunk. Then is when you bring the worst wine, because now they are drunk, and they cannot be able to detect whether it is worse or not. Child of God, that is the spirit of religion. The spirit of religion wants you to start stronger and end weaker. But the devil is a liar in Jesus' name. The spirit of religion wants you to begin, my God Almighty, healthy in your body. Then end shaking and dying of cancer. Somebody said the devil is a liar. Some say the devil is a liar. The of religion wants you to be beautiful initially. And then towards your end, you're ugly. Some say the devil is a liar. The governor is telling them, most many times we bring out the best wine in the beginning. And we give people to drink. And when they are drunk, bring in the worst wine. Because now they are drunk and they cannot be able to know whether this is worse, be bad or not. Hallelujah. I know the governor is wondering that they have kept the best wine until now. Somebody write down there say, I will keep the best wine until now, until later on. I am not losing my best. Who am I preaching to in this place? My time is over. Write down there say, I am not losing my wine. I will wine, my God Almighty. I declare to somebody you're not losing the Holy Ghost. I know you began with the Holy Ghost. I know there are others who began with the Holy Ghost and they have lost the Holy Ghost. The book of Galatians all oh, foolish Galatians uh, who bewitched you. Uh, you began in spirit uh, and you're ending in flesh. In the, in the spirit uh, last week uh, we are not about to begin to, to get into flesh uh, we are going to maintain the new wine uh, we are going to maintain the Holy Ghost uh, right down there said the devil is a liar I am not losing my wine uh, I am not losing the Holy Ghost uh, I will wait uh, I will maintain the new wine uh, I will maintain the Holy Ghost uh, I will remain with the Holy Ghost uh, I know I received the Holy Ghost last week uh, but this week I need more of the Holy Holy Spirit, uh, right down there, say, I know uh, I was filled last week, uh, but I want to be filled again. I want to be filled again. I want to be filled again. Right down there, say, Holy Ghost, uh, you filled me last week. Uh, but even this week, uh, fill me again. Um, I thank you for the testimony of healing. Um, but this week, I need a testimony of a financial breakthrough. I thank you for a testimony of deliverance. Um, but this week, another, I need, I need, I need another, another, another testimony of supernatural overflow. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, tell him I thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, I gave last week. Um, but this week, I'm giving more. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I am not losing my wine. 
divine. I will not begin in the spirit and end in the flesh. That devil is a liar. He wants you to begin in the spirit and end in the flesh. Some of you fasted last week, but this week the devil is convincing you that now is enough. Wait for your miracle. Child of God, as you're waiting for your miracle, we are going to pray again. We are going to fast again. We are going to give again. We are going to seek the face of God again. We are going to share the broadcast again. We are going to welcome people again. We are going to evangelize again. I have come to start up somebody's inner man. I have come to awaken your inner man. This is no time to sleep. This is no time to sleep. I know you had the wine. You had the wine in the initial stages, but you need it even in the latter stages. You need the Holy Ghost in the latter stages. I am not going to listen to the governor. I reject the governor wants me to begin stronger and end weaker. The governor wants me to begin healed and end with cancer. Begin stronger, begin healed and die of HIV AIDS. But that devil is a liar. The religious spirit and die of cancer. But that devil is a liar. You will keep the, the new wine. You will keep the better wine. You are not losing your Holy Ghost, my sister. I have come to stir up something inside of you. That devil is a liar. The witches from your village, they have been clapping because you are, you are, you are, you are beautiful now. They want you to return ugly, but you are going to maintain the new wine. You will maintain the fervency. You will maintain your, 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 this, your, your the Holy Ghost. You are not losing it for nothing. That's why I challenge you every day 10 p.m. East African time my God of my the whole of this week will be coming on time 10 p.m. and as you come begin to welcome the Holy Ghost and begin to evangelize by welcoming everybody target 20 groups 30 groups and tell I'm gonna break records in welcoming people I'm gonna break records in sharing the broadcast in giving tithe and offering. I'm going to break records in fasting and praying. I refuse to be, the, to, to, to be to go by the idea of the governor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy to somebody, my time is over. I you will keep the wine. You will keep the Holy Ghost. You are not losing the Holy Ghost because of anger. You will not lose the Holy Ghost because of competitive jealousy. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the devil is a liar. Receive the anointing, child of God. Receive the grace to keep the new wine. To be fervent in prayer. To be fervent in the things of the Holy Ghost. To be fervent in trusting God. This week, I release grace of victory. Supernatural victory. And presidential miracles uh, to come your way in the name of Jesus. Uh, may the Holy Ghost surprise you this week. My God Almighty, receive grace to pray, to read your Bible, to seek the face of God, to make wealth, uh, to be rich, to be anointed, to be prosperous, to shine, to overtake in Jesus' mighty name. I proclaim to you, child of God, you will not lose your wine. You will keep your wine in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory. Praise the Lord. I decree, child of God, your victory days have just begun in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory. Your victory days have just begun in Jesus' name. This is, your, this is your week. We are coming to generate power. And I'm telling you, already miracles are happening. Breakthroughs are happening. Victories are being released. And yours is on the list in the name of Jesus. Everybody, get a hold of your offer. Let's give, the, let's give God today. Let's give to God today. Get a hold of your offering in the name of Jesus. Get a hold of your offering. Mary told the, the, the servants, whatever he tells you, just do it. Whatsoever he tells you, just do it. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are waiting until you have millions. No. Start where you are. Give what you have. That which you have will unlock what you need in Jesus' name. There is somebody here you are receiving your financial breakthrough already. I'm telling you, it has been released. I see it. It has been released. It is coming your way in Jesus' name. You are going to begin to sing a new song in the name of Jesus. I'm going to give you one minute. Give your offering, everybody, in the name of Jesus. Send in your tithe. Send in your seeds. Send in your tithe. Send in your seed. Send in your offering. And tell the Holy Ghost, I will keep the new wine. I am not losing the Holy Ghost. I'm not losing right now. I have come too far not to lose now. In the, attack the givers. Some Numbers, pin the numbers there. Plus two five four seven two seven four seven six seven one two. Plus two five four seven two seven four seven six seven one two. Pin the numbers. You can give through M-Pesa, World Remit, 
send wave moneygram western union in jesus name you will not lose your wine you will recover in jesus name i touch everybody tithing i touch everybody giving i touch everybody donating i touch everybody's giving to the holy spirit of the living God, I say as they give, as they give, as they give to you, may you open doors for them. May you shock them this week. May you open victories for them. May they begin to celebrate. I unlock their name of Jesus. Somebody get a seed for the Holy Spirit tonight. Get a seed for the Holy Ghost and send it in Jesus' name and say, Holy Ghost, I will keep the new wine. I will not lose in Jesus' name. Remember to like my page of Pastor Stephen Onganga my page of Pastor Steve Nonganga. Remember to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pastor Steve Nonganga. Remember to visit my website, edenworldwideministry.wixter.com in Jesus' name. I today, whatever they are giving from whichever place in the nations of the world, I unlock their victory, their wine, the Holy Ghost moving on their behalf in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you so much. Remember tomorrow, we are fasting again, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.